Hello everyone and welcome to clickcentral.com. Um, this web post, sorry for the delay um, for people that, that follow my blog, I've not posted for a little while. Um, I had a really successful um, set of blogs um, just before um, around flat design and, and to be perfectly frank it's been very difficult to think of what to do new and what what sort of direction to go with the blog post and what I've come up with is, is a short sort of series of videos like flat design but this time looking at um, loading data into, into ClickView and the different sort of ways and methodologies you can use to do that. So what I'm going to do in this video is to take you through a few slides um, just to show the different methods and then on subsequent videos we're focusing on on one particular one, sort of the key one for me but I'll talk about more uh, as we go through. Okay, so the different loading techniques I sort of mentioned, there's a direct loading technique, there's the extract, transform um, and load technique, um, which is the one I'll be taking you through in more detail in subsequent videos, but we'll get on to that. And then finally, um, super fast, uh, for people that have near real time data, so something that's going to be running you know, every, every few minutes, um, but also keeping a history. Um, of information so they're going to get um, five minute intervals, 50 minute intervals but with six months worth of history as well and how do you manage that um, with the clear reload times and making it as optimised as possible so we'll talk through how that works as well. Okay. So first of all we've got direct um, which is very very straightforward as you imagine that's when you first start using ClickView and and typically as well when when you're developing um, a new application this is the method you go from first so that will be your data source be it with databases flat files and that's directly into the ClickView script and all the the loading and um, the transformation and everything is done in the ClickView script so that's what most people are familiar with when they first start using ClickView so we'll not be looking at that uh, particularly um, what we'll be looking at is the more sort of advanced way of loading um, which would be this one okay so we'll focus in a little bit more on this in detail here and like I say I will talk you through the code um, that I use to, to best sort of fulfill this sort of model so what you've got in the uh, forget the mouse pointer back there we go yep it's back okay we've got sort of um, source data so different databases, series of Excel files, it doesn't really matter what that is, it's just information that's there. Then what we're going to do is, is build up a, um, a series of QVWs which will extract that information. And the idea is it extracts it every day or whenever you've got it set up incrementally, maybe weekly or whatever your, your database is sort of set to refresh to. And then that information is put into a, into a series, it's stored into a series of extracted data QVD files and those files can be overwritten if they're reference data, um, you know, short number of lines that, that very rarely change or it could be that they are incrementally loaded into monthly QVD files so rather than having just one big QVD file that just grows and grows and grows you'll then segment them off into January, February, March, April so on and so forth as your data comes through. So these 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 extract files are extracted what I call as is. So at, at this point you're not worrying too much about doing any transformation, any tidying up of field names, anything at all apart from getting the information out straight out of the database into something that historically then you can work with and, and these flat files you can. Um, after that, you have a second set of transform QBWs. So they work very similarly to the extract QBWs, but this time, this is where you do all your transformation. As I mentioned, this is as is, you leave it alone. And this is when you start doing the joining, this is when you start doing the, um, the, the rename of fields, this is when you start doing the calculations, this is when you do all the format changes, anything at all. And as you can see from this diagram, it might not be a one-to-one um, one QVD straight out, it might be that you're joining, so you might be that you're bringing through you know, several and, and actually you're, you're, the end result is just one QVD. And the idea of this transform layer really, I mean, you can have another layer on top of that preparation but I'm not going to get into that in this series of videos. Uh, but the idea really of this transform data is when you come to do the dashboard load, there's actually no transformation, there's no joining, there's nothing to do apart from literally load star. Um, and bring the whole lot in. So at that point you're very optimised and as you know that the, the ClickView reads QVD files um, very quickly anyway um, but when there's no transformation done on them um, they are extremely quick and, and no sort of conditional wear statements or anything like that. They are extremely quick. 
So let's just go through a few bullet points around the extractor transform data and just, just, just go through how I, how I do that. So as I was talking about, we, we the extract part of it, the data is extracted as is, um, taking only the latest information and appending it to previously extracted QVD files, stores in monthly files. So the idea of that is every day you would go in, um, you would bring back information and then you know for January you'd be storing it into that QVD file for January and that will keep growing all the way through January and so we move into February's data and again we create a new QVD file so over time we we'll build up a history and we're only taking that part of the data that we don't previously have so if it's a monthly reload it will just sorry a daily reload it'll just be the last 24 hours of information so it's very short short bursts so the idea is if you're building up a dashboard that's got 12 months worth of history we're not every single day constantly going back for all that information from source which is as you know time consuming uh, and then likewise when we do the um, the transformation layer the, the sort of the, the naming conventions work exactly the same way as well so we're in this but in this instance we're building up a, a second set of QVD layers um, which are now called transform and again it works in the same mentality as before okay so that's what we're going to concentrate on in the next subsequent videos. But just before we do, I'm just going to talk you through um, the final one, which is the super fast Neil real time um, reload with history, of course. And as I sort of mentioned at the beginning of the video, it works in a similar way um, to what I've just shown you. Um, but with this time, we're not doing a daily reload, we're actually doing it, let's say, 15 minutes at a time. So we want the history of, say, 6 12 months worth of data, but we also want the speed. So from that, we, we, we just take a slightly different take on, on what we wanted to show you before. So the idea is you've got your database and you've got your extract and transform QBWs, but what they're going to do is just take information from midnight. Um, like you know, so the sort of previous day, in other words, from, from the stroke of midnight today um, in the morning, if that makes sense. Um, and then it's just going to take the 15 minute interval and, and store it into a near real time QVD. So the idea of that near, near time QVD will build up over the day, but once it hits midnight, what will happen then, it'll it'll empty itself into an historic QVD, just like we saw before with, you know, 2014, 01, 02, 03 for each month. Um, it'll build it into there, but up until midnight, um, the historic data is obviously in the QVDs, and then the, the, the most recent information from just today is in the near real time QVD. So, again, at this moment in time, both QVDs are set so they're ready to be imported straight into the dashboard without any transformation whatsoever because we've already done the transform and extraction layers at this point. So we, we, we take them straight into the dashboard and what you find is then it does save a lot of time because rather than bringing out a whole you know a heap of information and as well storing it to a, to a big monthly QVD file which takes time to, to load and time to store this just sort of speeds up the process so we're just splitting out the last 24 hours into a separate little mini process which then sort of organises itself over the mid over midnight um, when we get into the next day like I said that's a little bit more advanced I'm not going to talk about that in this series of videos we are going to talk about if I just flick back um, this um, layer, which is probably the most common layer um, way, of, way of transforming information and as I say over the next videos we're talking about the code that I use to, to, to make that as automated as possible and some of the tricks and techniques I use as well okay, okay so thank you for watching I um, will say hello to the people I met in the um, Click Visualize Your World um, a couple of weeks ago and again I was lucky to go on to the um, Click Partner um, Sense um, seminar that happened also last week um, so a lot of click activities went on recently and, and next week as well or the week after I can't remember now I'm back in London again for another click event um, in the click headquarters where I'm lucky enough to get the, the click labs people um, talking to a, to a number of people that's that's coming out, I'll, I'll blog about that as well there's a new group for the starting um, looking to share ideas and sort of best practice, I'm really looking forward to that so thank you all for, for watching and um, Again, you know, sorry for the delay and uh, I'll be posting the other videos up very, very soon. So thank you for that.